Hi guys, Merly here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you how to control squash bugs in your garden. It is summer and my summer squash plants are thriving. However, there is one enemy that I always fight. Like every year they come back and every year I fight these bugs. And I am talking about the squash bugs or the stink bugs. Stink bugs are very destructive and they multiply really quick. One bug can probably lay at least 20 eggs. And just imagine all these 20 eggs turning into little stink bugs, which will grow and multiply. And if you don't do something to control the population of the stink bugs in your garden early in the season, you will get overrun by these bugs and they will kill your plants. I remember my first year of gardening and I planted this beautiful vining squash. And then here comes the squash bugs and I did not know that these bugs kill the plants. And so I just let them live in my squash until there were so many, probably hundreds or thousands of them. And I eventually had to pull all my squash from my garden and burn them. And from that time on, I looked for ways in order to control these bugs. And so um, today I'm gonna show you how I control, because you can't really get rid of all of them. They hide everywhere. So the only way that we can do is to control these squash bugs. The first tip that I can give you is to weed your garden, weed around your squash, weed around your pumpkins so that they don't have a place to hide underneath your plants. Um, tip number two would be to grow vertically. And as you can see in here, I have some tomato cages around my squash plants. And the reason for this is for my squash plants to grow upward instead of just crawl on the ground and so that I can see what's going on underneath the plants the plant can be managed easily and I can see any bugs that are hiding underneath the plants another question that people ask is well how do you see all these squash bugs when there are so many leaves and the answer to that question is this so what you do is you spray your plant with water, soak the base of the plant, soak the dirt, and what will happen is that these stink bugs, they don't like the water. And so whenever you spray water onto the base of the plant and onto the stem of the plant, they will crawl upward and then they will go on top of the leaves or you can see them crawling up the stems of your plant and then well some of them actually crawl on top of the tomato cages and um, that makes it even easier to find them so i'll give an example in here i have watered these plants uh, probably about 10 to 15 minutes ago i'm just watering it again just to make sure to get the rest of the squash bugs but i have gotten a lot of squash bugs from here like every day i found two or three squash bugs crawling on the plant and this is what i do spray the plant with water so take that water hose spray your plant and then wait for five to ten minutes and you will see that the squash bugs will start crawling upward so this plant here i have sprayed the entire plant with water and then see where the squash bug is so there's the squash bug you see that it's moving so it's easy to see them once they crawl upward and then i will wait for the other plants maybe five to ten minutes if there are any squash bugs that will climb up the plant or the trellis I always have this bucket in my garden and this contains soapy water and um, now that you see the squash bug you can just drop it into the soapy water. 
I don't like touching the squash bag, so I just hit it with a stick and drop it in the water. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. And these plants are looking really good. See, just keep on doing that every day or every couple of days. Um, to make sure that the squash bugs are not multiplying you check underneath the leaves because they lay their eggs underneath these leaves and I have found two leaves with probably 15 to 20 eggs in each spot so this one's looking good no bug um, I got the squash bug from this plant already and then tomorrow I'll come back and um, look for some more squash bugs I'll do that same process again spray the whole plant with water uh, wait for 10 to 15 minutes and wait for the squash bugs to climb upward into the trellis or on the top of the leaves or on the stem. If you learned something from this video, click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you next time!